This meeting is being recorded. Menu. Add all queue. Meet stereo. Hide. Mono check. Optimize for width. Share sound. Hide floating. Hide video. Hide. Share sound. Checked. Hide. Right. Hide, hide names of it. Disable and reaction. Stop recording. Alt R. Folder view. Okay, folks. Welcome to the first video of Z and P Gaming. Or just another video for the channel Peyton Herrick. Uh, depending on where you're watching this, because this will be uploaded on both channels. So welcome. Today we'll be starting the Eurofly series. And this first video is basically what is Eurofly and showing off the category one aircraft. Um, showing off a category one aircraft. So what is Eurofly? Eurofly is a Atlas slash flight simulator for the visually impaired and blind. Uh, this is a flight simulator that is accessible to the visually impaired without using any mods or anything else because, you know, there's other ones out there. But I like this one the best just because it's the easiest for one for one thing. And you can also modify stuff. Whereas I don't know if you can come whereas I don't know how much you can modify in out there simulators, such as FS such as FSX pilot or VATSIM. So Eurofly, in my opinion, is still the best flight simulator out there. So, yeah. Who made Eurofly? Stefan Kiss from Slovakia did. This program slash game is available in many uh, languages, such as Russian, Slovakian, or Slovak, I guess, uh, Portuguese, Arabic, and of course, English and Spanish. So, what are we flying today? Today we are flying a Category 1 Lockheed 188 Electra. This is a Category 1. And what that means is, there are three types of categories, there are three category types in Eurofly that you will be flying throughout the game. Category one is the lowest category of all three of these. And basically the short and sweet of it is you're just doing everything manually. No autopilot, no auto, anything. Nose is manually controlled. Um, just everything is manually controlled in this game, really. And... Today, on this Lockheed Electra flight, we'll be doing something short and sweet. Because I'll show off some of the options and stuff, and uh, we'll talk about that. Honestly, this video is going to be a lot of talking, and the flight's going to be really short. It's only 15 miles from Midway to Chicago O'Hare, so Midway, Illinois to uh, Chicago O'Hare, which is also in Illinois. So, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so, a couple things that will not be demonstrated on this flight is that when you hear the plane, or when you hear over the speakers, you have entered the airspace of a new state. Identify yourself. You must hit F2 or function F2 if you don't have your BIOS up to date like me. And if you don't hit function F2 or F2, after it says identify yourself, please, that's the second thing it'll say. And then the third thing it'll say is identify yourself or you'll be shot down. If you don't identify yourself after that, you get shot down by this fighter jet thing. Another thing we will not be demonstrating is Control-T, 
which is turbo. So there's a maximum airspeed for your aircraft, and then you can enter the um, turbo mode, unless your maximum airspeed is 6,214 miles per hour or 10,000 kilometers per hour um, on one of your aircraft. Um, try to think. Uh, so yes, uh, turbo is for all aircrafts, but we're not demonstrating to that that today. Um, the function F two slash F two is available or is on all aircrafts, but will not be demonstrated today. So I'm just covering my bases here. So let's launch your flight. Oh, and one more great thing I forgot to mention: it's free. So that's really nice. Whereas I'm pretty sure other flight simulators do cost money. So that's one plus. Euro flight 7 of 24. Let's launch it. Not charging battery, 99%. Might take a bit. Come on, Eurofly. Two times eight of Eurofly 7 of 20. Two times a euro fly seven of twenty four location. Oh, there we go. See euro two times eight of euro fly seven. Meeting controls. Zoom Welcome to euro fly. More drop down button. About euro fly. See users and eat downloads. Drop see use euro fly. Meeting controls. Zoom see down see users. Euro fly. Meeting controls. Zoom see down see user. Euro fly. Row two column three six of six. Okay, so when you first load euro fly, it comes up with one of two intros, and we got this one, and here is the main menu. Tasks. Well, actually, it starts out. It starts off with about Eurofly. That, and you're navigating through the menu by using your up and down arrows. So let's say I go down. Tasks. Next one is task. Let's say we're going to be the first option, which is about Eurofly. There we go. Let's play that for you. Eurofly is a successful Slovak airline company that operates international flights within Europe as well as transcontinental flights worldwide. You have just become a pilot of this company and your job is to complete the tasks assigned to you by your superior and safely carry passengers from different countries to their destination. You are about to become a pilot flying in your country. If you do well, you will be deployed for longer and more difficult routes and your rank will gradually increase. As we said, Eurofly is a successful company so we allow you to free fly it around the world or explore the map. Good luck. About Eurofly. Okay, so that's what's on the there. Now, tasks. List aerial plan. Now, tasks. Um, now, if you don't have multiple profiles like me, you'll just be taken right to the tasks and uh, you can start doing tasks. But tasks, it's simple and to the point. Um, those are just the uh, flights you are told to do. Your first 10 flights are with no passengers, and then your uh, the other 79 main tasks, I, I need to say that again, main tasks are um, with passengers, because there's also a few tasks that people have created, like a Christmas 2017, European tours, something, uh, new seven wonders of the world and a generator. Yes, that there is a task generator. After you have completed the first eighty nine tasks, once again, that's after you've completed the first eighty nine tasks. So there's, I have two profiles here. Aerial Eurofly, one of three. Aerial Eurofly, Aerial Eurofly, which is the profile I'll be demonstrating under throughout this series unless it's uh the first main test and if it is i'll be using Peyton two or three. that my actual name peyton um but i already did the first 10 tasks so and the main reason i have that is for server for server use um so i'll create a new profile and actually i'll demonstrate that uh, quickly. Land about Eurofly. Tasks. Free list area plan. But let's talk about free flights really quick. As you heard in that about Eurofly section, 
Um, they do allow you to free fly, which is nice. And the thing is, as you do more tasks, um, the amount of aircrafts that are unlocked for free flight is increased. So if I click on Aerial Eurofly here, list one one of ninety two one one of land. You'll see I have ninety two aircrafts. That is what one one of ninety two means. Because this profile is a save again that I've received, and the tests are done on here. And but I can still do tasks with the three ones that the three tests that people have created, uh, which I don't quite know how to do that, so I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on how to do that. Or, uh, I lost my train of thought there, but yeah, or the generator, yeah. So there, there's, yeah, there's that. So you'll see all these here, 92. About hero flight, what? What? manual walk, free flying. List area land. And let's go to Payton. Payton of information. Oh. No button, all 10. Hero okay. fly list, one, one of 23 land. Okay, unless you'll notice, I have 23 aircrafts only. That is because I have only done the first 10 tasks. Therefore, I have not unlocked uh, Category 2s yet. So all these are Category 1s. Airspeed is 57, Ambassador 2, or Beechcraft Musketeer, Beechcraft 1900D, C-46, Chicago O'Hare, 5 of 20. Land About Eurofly. So those are all Category 1s there. Now let's take a look at our next thing. Tasks. Free flying. Manual walking. This is the aforementioned map or atlas uh, that you can walk on you know because like you, just, you know when you use your up down left right it moves you a step forward step back step uh, uh to the left so there's that for you oh Romania. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Return to meeting. Folder view list. Hero fly 7 of 20. I have to re open your fly. Because, Land. yeah. Oh, you guys get to see the other intro, so that's nice. Welcome to Euro fly. About Euro fly. This is the other intro for Euro fly. Tasks. Free flying. Manual walking through map. Okay. Profiles. Creating new profile. Now this is where the profiles are. And since I'll probably be showing you the tasks, the first 90 tasks, or 89, basically 90. Removing, creating new profile. I'll create a profile. Type your profile name and press the enter key. And I'll call myself. Happy. A -N -A -N -A. Profile has been created. I called myself Banana. So... When we do those tasks, I'll do that for you. Okay. Voices. Voices. And VDA. This, click. this will show your screen reader and... Sat P5. Sat P5, which is what this game is. Voices. Options. Options. And options. This is where all your options are. Um... I guess I'll go through them quick here. Change button. User data path edit red only selected okay. C. Hero fly. Change button. So change. Profile manager button. Profile manager. So we manage your profiles. Like if you want to register it on the server. Home airport button. Home airport where you set your home airport. Distance format. American miles radio button checked. Uh, that I have it set to American miles, but there's also. Metric kilometers radio button checked. American Miles Radio button checked. Yeah. Add minus word before negative numbers checkbox not checked. I don't know what that is. I don't mess with Check it. for updates after startup checkbox checked. Okay, check for updates after startup. Copy key for weather information edit plan. Uh, you can get a key for weather and you can input it here. And I believe it just gives you the real weather at the airport. At the new airport, start with real weather checkbox not checked. Okay. Get copy key button. 
Get at the key that's for the uh, aforementioned thing above. Status monitor edit plan. Status monitor, set status monitor used for my Braille display users out there. Hide the completed task packs checkbox not checked. Hide the completed task packs. That's for those uh, three tests that people created I mentioned earlier. Preferred languages for communicator button. Preferred languages. Okay button. Okay. Cancel button. Tab control. General. Now this is where your tab control is. So we have general. Map tab selected two of seven. Map. Flip tab selected three of eight. Flight. Volume tab selected four of nine. Systems tab selected five of ten. Okay and yeah. Well, that's map what Map tab selected two of ten. Okay, we'll go for this quick. Map source, map property page, geo names, radio button checked. Decimal number separator, comma radio button checked. If there are too many results, show the list check. Decimal number sep. That I don't know about. If there are too many results, show the list checkbox checked. Show list if it is more than edit multi line selected three. Synchronize movement and view and manual view checkbox not checked. Don't know what that is. Zero position, zero is north radio button checked. Compass appearance, compass hours radio button checked. OK button. Cancel button, tab control, map tab, flip tab select. This is your flight. Flip property page, range of airport 1, me, edit multi line selected 12. Range of airport 2, me, edit multi line selected 20. Range of airport 3, me, edit multi line selected 31. Range of capitals, me, edit multi line selected 22. Range of points, me, edit multi line selected 22. Navigation tone frequency, edit multi line selected 1. Frequency of turbulent areas, edit multi line selected 12. Frequency of turbulences edit multi line selected 400. Frequency of little storms edit multi line selected 12. Start a new day in the hangar checkbox not checked. I don't feel like doing the hangar today, so I'll show you guys that another time. But I do assure you, in one of these about 230 or so videos, I will show you the hangar. I did have it said to where I would start a new day in the hangar uh, before. And then I quit that after 12 days just because it was irritating. And yeah. Fly according to the timetable checkbox checked. This means that your flight is going to depart at a certain time. Unless, or I think you get like get kicked out of the airport or something. I did check the box on this, but nothing's happened to me because I fly out. I get, I think it's. Like I said, it's the time where you have to leave the airport. But I always leave before this time because that's that's actually what you're supposed to do. And uh, I've never been there at the time. It, I was scheduled on the timetable. So display the arrival time in the navigation checkbox checked. OK button. Cancel button. Tab control. Volume tab selected four of ten. OK, this is the volume of different things. Volume property page. Music edit multi line selected zero. Engines edit multi line selected one hundred. Aircraft edit multi line selected eighty. Transmitters edit multi line selected seventy eight. Airport edit multi line selected one hundred. Weather edit multi line selected one hundred. Towers edit multi line selected one hundred. Stewards edit multi line selected one hundred. Tones edit multi line selected one hundred. OK button. Cancel button. Tab control. Systems tab selected five of ten. Uh, the stuff in here I don't know that much about systems property page joystick mode checkbox checked well some of it anyway use intercom checkbox checked like i know that but and i've used it before and to use the intercom it's function f11 if you don't have your bios up to date like me or f11 if you're smart and did your bios active tower checkbox not checked don't know what that is obligatory to follow tower instructions checkbox not checked uh, don't check that because otherwise you're going to crash if you don't descend to or descend or rise to whatever altitude they give you. Smaller storms checkbox checked. Some of this is for some of the systems we're going to turn on. Large storms checkbox checked. Turbulences checkbox checked. Turbulent areas checkbox checked. T cause checkbox checked. Critical events checkbox checked. OK button. Okay, I lied. I thought the system stuff was a bit different, but um, yeah. So some of the a lot of that stuff I do actually know. I apologize, but I've been in that setting in a while because I know this game so much. So yes, I do know a lot of that. I don't know the joystick mode or the active tower, but the rest of it I do know. 
I thought that area of Eurofly was something else. So I just want to make that clear. So cancel button. We'll just exit about Eurofly. Eurofly. And we'll task free manual profile voices options. Test your speakers. Test your speakers. I'll do this quick. Left. Right. Test your speakers. And ons. And ons. I'm not running through that because I already have a configure. About the program. About the program, I'll play this really quick. Eurofly is created by Stefan Kiss from Slovakia in 2016. Visit the webpage www.stefankiss.sk or contact by email kissoft at stefankiss.sk. Okay. Land. About the exit. Exit. We're not doing that. About task. Free flight. List air land. We are doing a free flight today. And then we'll do a task some other time. I could use either or of these three profiles, so. Banana 2 Aerial Eurofly 1 to 4. Banana 2 to 4. Peyton 3 to 4. Yeah, um, it, it'll still count towards my, uh, profiles, or the, uh, pilot log. But Banana Aerial Euro. Okay. We'll just List one, one of 92, one, one of 92. Is that everything? Land. Okay, F now. Parker F-28, 1, 1, land. If you know the letter of your aircraft, so if it's like an Airbus, you press A, airspeed at land. A it's a Lockheed 188 Electra like it is today. We're going to just press one, one, L land. until we find it. L, L39, L, L400, L, Lockheed 188 Electra, Chicago O'Hare, 17 North land. Okay, I have the plane loaded. You'll notice we're at Chicago O'Hare. We don't want to be here. We want to be at Chicago Midway because our flight is from Midway to O'Hare, not O'Hare to Midway or O'Hare to anywhere else. So we are going to teach you our first thing, spawning aircraft. Let's say you have a flight that you want to do that goes from Dallas, Fort Worth to Tulsa, Oklahoma. But your aircraft is in uh, Salem, Oregon, let's say, or Portland or whatever. whatever. You can still spawn the aircraft in free flight. You cannot spawn in tasks. But in free flight, you can. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do... And we are going to click... Illinois, Chicago, Midway, 15 Midway, 15 North America, USA, this. Illinois, Illinois, Chicago, Midway. And we're here at Midway. And if we press W, light rain breeze southwestern, two meter per hour dark gray clouds, twenty one ten meters above you. W. That'll tell us our weather. So let's turn our flight management computer on and start setting up the plane. Computer on. The way you do that is Control Shift K. And the way you spawned here, or the way we spawned here, is the way we're going to set our destination. But List, Illinois, Chicago, we pressed enter on that destination to spawn here. So instead of pressing enter on Illinois, Chicago, O'Hare, 15 meet land. Illinois, Chicago, O'Hare, we're going to press destination set space hey. hero flight. And since this isn't a category two or three aircraft, it just says destination set because um, it cannot add multiple. It cannot add multiple destinations, unlike categories two and three. And uh, if you press tab on your computer here, flight timetable list twenty two oh eight land. Flight timetable. If you're flying to the upper timetable, uh, you'll see this and. You'll also see other flights here on the timetable. Traffic. Edit red only multi line unavailable. Traffic. Uh, if you press Control P, that'll take you to the pilots page on the Eurofly website. Dashboard, Eurofly. In the dashboard, which is where we were. So let's start getting this plane configured for takeoff. Well, I guess taxi and takeoff. So. Oh. Uh, Computer off. Computer on. Once again, Control Shift K for your computer. 
All right. Now we are going to contact ground using our radio. And how we're going to do this, we're going to do control shift F. Done. Set frequency. And we're going to press. We're going to press F. Ground 115. One approach, one enter frequency. Dot, dot, five. Dot, dot, you are okay. This is ground. Welcome. And that told us our frequency of 115.1. And if we press that again, it'll say active, which is nice. And we entered that frequency with uh, Alt F. So now we will turn on our lights Land. by pressing Control, or not Control, by pressing Shift F, Shift S, and Shift B. Happen. Front lights on, Happen. indoor lights on, Happy. back lights on. There you go. The lights are on. We will buckle our belt with Control B. Done. So. And now we will fuel the aircraft with Control Shift E. Okay. Now. If you're at a smaller airport, the only difference be uh, between this and a bigger airport is at the smaller airport, it's only one runway, only one runway, only category one aircraft can take off from them, and you board and leave passengers on that same runway. So if it's from a small airport to small airport, or Category 1 airport to Category 1 airport. And when you land at the other airport, you're just going to leave the passengers <coughs> on the tarmac, on the landing runway. But, if you're at an airport like a Category 2 airport, which can hold Category 1 and 2 aircraft, or a Category 3 uh airport which can hold categories one two and three um you have multiple runways and you also have a area for gates now let me be clear a category three can uh, sk737 roll to the runway b4 a category a category three aircraft Category 3 aircraft can only take off from Category 3 airports. A Category 1 aircraft can take off from Categories 1, 2, and 3. And Category 2 can take off from Categories 2 and 3 airports. <coughs> okay. Now that we've got that all sorted. Let's talk about a few Fans know about. If you press N, 30 left bearing 330 N, land. It says 30 left bearing. And what that means is after AT seeds, ah, it means that after AT seeds, second message. You will start turning the yoke by one, via one of three ways. If you only need to turn it a couple degrees to the left or right, just press left or right arrow. If you need to turn it 10 to the right or 10 to the left, or more than 10 to the right or more than 10 to the left, just do shift left and shift right. And if you need to turn a cardinal direction, like we're about to do for our gates and runways here, um, you will uh, do control left and control, or control left, or control right. So that's for cardinals. And again, if you press the N, that just tells you how far you need to turn, left or right. And then you can make the call if you need the 10 degrees, the cardinal direction, or just turn the arrow, or just turn the yoke by pressing the left or right. Um... If you press Control N, 15 me Chicago O'Hare 10 12 26 p.m. 
it'll say your destination, how far it is, and if you have it set up, uh, what time you'll arrive there. If you press Control Shift N, that'll clear your navigation. Um, and I'll just say this right here. When you're at rotation speed, which is the uh, current takeoff speed, which we'll get to in a second, you're going to need to lift the nose. And how you're going to do that is with the down arrow. And when you need to level off, the zero, you will press the down arrow. And if you need to descend, you'll also press, or sorry, if you need to level off at zero, you'll press the up arrow to level off. And if you need to descend, you will also press the uh, up arrow. But if you need to rise, you will press your, um, down arrow. Now let's go over some letter letters that you will need to know. If you press R, zero R. That's your speed. If you press your T, zero T. That'll tell you your nose angle. You do not want this nose angle to be above twenty or below minus twenty. If you press Z, Zero Z, that is your altitude. Now, let's talk about your speed and how to speed up. You will speed up with your home key and you will slow down with your end key. Now that we've gotten some commands out of the way, we're still going to go over some more in a little bit, actually. Um, let's just talk about one more command, or actually two more, and then we'll finally get on the road. Because what I want to do is I want to get all these commands out of the way so that you can actually just enjoy the flight without me blabbering. So that's why I'm talking while we're just sitting here on the tarmac here. Okay. Function F1 or F1. This is a very crucial command because that is how you get your runway. That is also how you ask for clearance for takeoff from approach or ask for landing clearance. It is also how you find out how far you are from your destination airport in its airspace. And obviously, if you're not in its airspace, you can just use control N. And even if you are in its airspace and you don't want to use uh, the function F1 or F1, you can just still do control N. And again, that's also how you get your runway like we just did, or like we got. Now, granted, you're going to have to wait for your runway, but still, yeah, that's how you ask for your runway. And control G. That is your landing gear. When approach says SK737, because that's your flight number for all the Eurofly installations, climb and continue heading north or west or south or east. Whatever it says, whatever direction. That is what we want to. Retract your flaps and pull your landing gear up. Come on. Lift.
Okay. So when it says climb and continue heading wherever, west, south, east, north, west, or, you know, the cardinal direction, whatever, you will hit control F to retract your flaps and control G to uh, raise your landing gear. Now, the landing gear does not need to be messed with before takeoff. After takeoff, it needs to be raised into the plane. And before you land, it also needs to be lowered into position. Your flaps need to be set before takeoff by control F and your flaps will be extended. But your landing gear is already down. Because if you guys don't know, the landing gear is are your wheels. So it's like the tires on a car. And you need your tires to drive down the road. And for a plane, you need them to taxi and land. So the flaps are also less known. Uh, those are, but they're like speed reading. Think about the fuel tanks are full. Okay. Now we already fueled up. Uh, to check if your fuel tanks are full, you can do Control Shift E again after you fuel. The fuel tanks are full. It'll say that. Now if you press Control E, fuel amount, yeah, plan, you, fly. you can enter a fuel amount in gallons. And if you press E, 999 e. it'll tell you there's 999 gallons of fuel. Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get going here. So, before we do that, we have to do another one more command. And that is Control W. SK737, please roll to gate 4 and board passengers. That is to get our gate, and that is also how we will open, or that is how we will also board our passengers after we open the door with Control R. So let's start our engines with page up and page down. Ready. Ready. Okay. Now, we will release our brakes by pressing B, B. Off. and speed up by pressing the home key. Now we'll check our speed with R. 48 R, 53 R. Gates. East. Gates. Now we turn to east using the control right arrow. Gates. That ding means we're going the right way. Gate one. Gate one. Also, if we press space, space. Okay, seven, three, seven, please roll to gate four and four passengers. That will repeat the last message we got from either approach or ground. Gate two. The engines. Gate four. Wait till the plane stops. Gate four. Oh, jeez. Gate four. Open the door with control R. And four. passengers with control W. Gate four. Gate four. Gate four. Okay. All right. Oh, 
Okay, sadly, for you guys, for if you uh, already know you're up wide, we have a couple more commands. We can do this to the new people. Well, I guess not. But... Okay. So, we have boarded the passengers, and let me check this. Land, oh, list, relic, one, land, hero, fly. Okay. will auto. Okay. What we just did was, well, what I did after I boarded the passengers and closed the door, was I pressed uh, Alt-I to, uh, to play the safety video for the passengers, and I press alt and I press Alt O to close the cockpit. <coughs> now, before we get going, I waited until we had passengers purposefully to do this. I'm going to show you a couple more things, and then we're going to get our engines up. We'll turn on our systems, and we'll finally taxi to the runway for takeoff. First of all, pushback. There is no actual pushback, so you have to do it yourself. There are two ways to do this. The Peyton Hair way that no one else probably does, and the standard Euro flyway. The standard Euro flyway is to release your brakes, press reverse, set your speed to 12, and just back up till you hear gates, per, uh, press your brakes, or Touch your brake, go to zero once you can rotate, and release the brakes after you have stopped. Turn off reverse by pressing backspace, the same way you turn it on is backspace as well. Then roll until you hear a ding that signifies your log. And you'll have to uh, do the control right arrow or control left arrow but I mainly use control right arrow for this um, to turn north then just roll until you hear the ping then you can speed up to about 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour the Peyton Herrick way is release your brakes from the gate turn in the opposite direction by pressing control left arrow until you hear the opposite direction Roll at three miles per hour, or about seven kilometers per hour, until you hear a ding followed by your gate. Then speed up to about 62 miles per hour, or 100 kilometers, until you hear a beep. That is the gates area, but you're on the other side of it, so it's a beep. Then turn north after that beep stops for 20 seconds. You count down from 20 to zero. And then you turn north. Now, if there's a uh, announcement from the stewardess, if you're flying categories two or three, you only have to count down from 10, but today it'll be uh, 20 to zero, since category ones do not have stewards that make announcements. <coughs> so, yeah. And it did let me fuel again, but I don't think there's really that much more fuel. It still says 999, but just check. Alright, so we're doing the Peyton Herrick way this time. Correct. Oh, that's kind of a long gate, but long way to do push back at 12 miles per hour. Or 20 kilometers. So, let's get our engines up. Page up, page down. Ready. Ready. Brakes off. Me. Off. Roll. Because you do have to roll at the slowest speed to turn uh, for this. So, one, R. we're going only going one. Control left arrow. West. Had to do that twice, so now we're facing west. And we're only going to roll. One, R. Two, R. Two, R. Four R. Oh boy. Four R. Two R. I guess we'll roll at two. Okay. While we're doing that, we're gonna press Control F. 
done. For flaps, when it says done, that's what you want to hear, but if you do it four. Off. Eight. It'll say off. That's not what you want. Time. Done. But you do want to hear off after the second transmission from ATC. You, you guys will see. Okay, we'll do control shift. D for TCAS. TCAS on. That is the uh, traffic collision avoid system. That helps us avoid planes. Then we'll do control shift S. Storm radar on. For storm radar. Then control shift Q. Tempering on. For tempering slash heating. Gate three. Okay. Now that we did that. Seventy one R. Sixty two R. Um. Gate two. All of our systems are set. But for bigger planes, two. there are two more systems. Fifty seven B. And I'm going to stop here for a second. And. Those systems are ventilation and pressure. That is if you go above, I believe, 5,000. And how you turn on those is control shift B and control shift P. And I have two more things to show. And then I will shut up the rest of this video most likely and just have, let you guys enjoy the flight also throughout these videos during takeoff you will hear me say v1 and rotate uh that's not important for this but i like to play a character you know if i'm gonna play the game you might as well play more into the game uh v1 is the and rotate is when the nose comes off the ground and you start to fly. Fly up into the air. If you press Control Enter, list free flight one forty three. Free flight it'll say it'll give you what I call the aircraft information. If you're doing a test, you would say assigned flight. So it says free flight. Airport Chicago Midway Illinois three two forty three. Pilot aerial Eurofly inspector ten three forty three. Land. Oh, uh, so it says the airport, obviously. Now, it said Aero, Aero Euroflight Inspector 10. That was my pilot name, well, I guess the pilot name, followed by the rank, and Inspector 10 is the highest rank. Lockheed 188 Electra, Category 1, 443. Okay, the name of the plane. Number of seats, 98, 543. That's how many passengers it can hold. But we only have... Number of passengers, 57, 6, 43. Seven. Starting weight 100, 0 ton 7 to 43. Current weight 106, 6 ton 8 to 43. Maximum airspeed 448 meter per hour 9 to 43. And that is 721 kilometers per hour, by the way. Range 2175 meter 10 to 43. Okay, that's the range is how far your plane can fly before it goes. No fuel or out of fuel. Ceiling 3700 M11 to 43. The ceiling, that's how high you can fly. Um, regardless whether you're using miles, you sadly cannot convert that. You sadly cannot convert into fuel. Sucks, but oh well. Takeoff speed 140 meter per hour 12 to 43. That's your takeoff and landing. Now, not for category one, but for categories two and three, you need to look at uh, the following things after this. Landing airspeed, 140 meter per hour, 13 to 43. Current takeoff speed, 144 meter per hour, 14 to 43. Now for this plane, it's not much uh, different, but there was one time when uh, I was looking at the Boeing 747 takeoff. I think the actual takeoff, Mine was like 192. 
uh, just because I had extra weight. Current landing airspeed, 144 meter per hour, 15 of 43. Fuel tank capacity, 999 cal, 16 of 43. Fuel level, 999 cal, 17 of 43. Current range, 2174 meter, 18 of 43. Used fuel, 0 cal, 19 of 43. Ticket price, 22, 20 of 43. I believe the ticket price is... Dollars, U.S. dollars, but I could be wrong. Flight price, 1254, 21 to 43. Door closed, 22 to 43. Okay, now, what's coming up is basically like a checklist if you're into that sort of thing. Cockpit closed, 23 to 43. Brakes on, 24 to 43. Left extended 25 of 40. Landing gear left extended 25 of 43. Landing gear down 26 of 43. Yes. You need that landing gear down because that means the wheels are on the ground. Built on 27 of 43. And if you raise the landing gear with Control G before it tells you to, uh, you will crash. So yeah. Strobe lights on 28 of 43. Built on 27 to 40, strobe lights on 28 to 43, tail lights on 29 to 43, cabin lights on 30 to 43, transmitter on 31 to 43, transponder off 32 to 43. Transponder! That is for the upcoming squawk, so I'll just go over that, I forgot, thank you, uh, checklist for reminding me about this. Control shift T is how you turn it on, uh, to hear the squawk, to hear the squawk again, you will press space. And to enter the squawk, you will press Alt T. And then you just press Enter after you're done typing. That's standard for everything here. Communicator up 33 of 43. Communicator, don't use that. Um, I believe it's Control Shift G to turn that on, and then to send a message is Control G. I believe. Status monitor up 34 of 43. I don't, uh, use the communicator. Status monitor, uh, Alt-M, if you want to turn that on. That's for the Braille display users out there. Uh, this gives you everything your computer does, but on your Braille display. Climate control on 35 of 43. Okay, these are the systems we turn on, so climate control. Weather radar on 36 of 43. Flight management computer on 37 of 43. The computer, it's called the flight management computer in here. Traffic collision avoidance system on 38 of 43. Audio nav up 39 of 43. Now, I don't find this useful, but there's a thing called audio, or, yeah, audio navigation. That is to see how lined up you are with the beacon. I don't use that, but if you wish to turn it on, it's control, it's not control N. It's alt N. Alt N for uh, audio nav. Now, I don't know how to tell if you're aligned with the beacon because I just I just press N and see if I need a turn. That's all I do. So. Transponder 040 of 43. Transponder. Frequency 115, 141 of 43. USA Illinois 42 of 43. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Now let's press. Now let's press Control D. List Lockheed 188 Electro 1 of 16. Lockheed this 188 is the, uh, Electro Plan. Pilot logbook. And all this is self-explanatory. So I'll just run through this quickly. Last airport, Chicago O'Hare, Illinois, 2 of 16. Successful takeoffs, 63, 3 of 16. Successful landings, 55, 4 of 16. Current flight, 5 of 16. 0, me, 6 of 16. List item, 7 of 16. Flown today, 8 of 16. 0, me, 9 of 16. List item 10 of 16. Total flown 11 of 16. 1757 meet 12 of 16. 4 hours 53 minutes 13 of 16. Crashes 25 14 of 16. USA Illinois 15 of 16. Okay, there we go. Land hero fly. All right, let's e. get going here. Off. 1 R 3 R West S. 999 E. Oh. 37 R. Gate 1. 60. Oh yes, and uh, before you get to the beeping sound, if you do the Peyton Herrick method, 
A slowdown can only 12 miles per hour or 20 kilometers when you're doing that. Two R four R six seven R nine R nine R eleven R twelve R twelve R. SK seven three seven, you can roll to the runway B four. By the one, by the way, by the way, I just used function F one to get our runway again because I could not use space to. Uh, play that because the last message before that was gate. So I had to make that the, the top message. 20, 19, 18, 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Okay. And with the paint and Herrick method, once you've turned north after 20 seconds, you can just go as fast as you want with it. Of course. Oh, and if I didn't say already, don't go above 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour on the taxiway. One. Doesn't work out too well. 27 R. If you go above. One. On category twos and threes it'll say you have exceeded One. the maximum allowed speed. But on category ones it's dangerous because you can go as fast as you want. Two. Doesn't mean you're not gonna crash the You can also do this. Paused, paused. Pause your flight. With Alt F1. Even if you don't have your BIOS updated like me. So let's resume it. Resume. 75. Oh boy. 70 R. 66. 63 R. 3. 3. 3. Now this is a little advanced a. for beginners, but... I mean, you're gonna have to use this stuff eventually, a. so... A. And it's pretty simple, once you get the hang of it. B. Okay. And we have turned B onto the B section of runways. B. Now, if we had received 1, 2, or 3... B. We would have just turned onto the runway. B. Pressed our brakes. Rolled until B. Um, we were told to contact uh, tower B. But since we have B, uh, it's a little bit different. So we have turned on to B. We heard that ding. B, as you can hear, we are past it. I usually stop after I hear that, and then. I start moving again. That's just what I do. I don't know if you have to do that, but that's just what I do. We get our runway again. Okay. Oh boy. You guys hear how fast we go? 66 R. Me too. Well, it's making the taxi quick, which is probably good for you guys. B3. 48 R. SK737, you can roll to the B3. runway. B4. B4. That's roughly. B3. I'm gonna slow down for our run up. North. B. Which simply Done. means B4. just our turn out. Now, B4. You can hear the runway, but B4. We have not heard the F mentioned 
Uh, SK-737, you're cleared to, uh, you contact tower or something. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go off. Press B to release the brake and roll as slow as we can. B4. We don't want to miss that. SK-737, please contact Tower for takeoff clearance. We wish you a pleasant flight. You want as much B4. as you can get. So now, we're going to press B4. F. Round actor 115, one approach 121, 9, F, enter frequency, edit 1, 2, 1, dot. B4. 9. One, five, five, nine. And the frequency just entered is the approach. So we'll turn on the transponder with control shift T. Done. B4. And we'll press space. One, five, five, nine. Okay. Then press Alt T. Transponder edit land one. B4. Nine. Identification confirmed. Once you hear that, it only once you hear that. B4. I will not be talking B4 throughout the flight. B4. Because B4. Number one, I've been talking this whole video. B4. Number two, it's very quick and I need to pay attention. B4. So. B4. The only other thing I'll say is, B4. Once you hear the second transmission from ATC, B4. If it's not a short flight like this, B4. Um, you can honestly just press Alt B4 Home, and that'll take you to full speed. B4. And then once you're on the ground, B4. And you're uh only about B4. 15 feet or meters from B4. parking, you can hit alt home B4. and slow down to zero, or you can honestly do that anyway. B4. If you wish to uh, stop your B4. slowing down or speed up, you B4. can press the delete key. And once again, B4. space is your reverse key. B4. And you can even use it if you're careful to give yourself B4. more room for takeoff, but I'm not doing that. B4. Uh, I think that's it, so from B4. here on out, I'm just gonna stop talking. B4. Um, oh, the alt home, B4. No, the alt end. B4. The alt end can B4. also be to uh, slow yourself down if you're in turbo and you really need to slow down to land. So that's B4. And just make sure you press the delete before B4. it gets to stall speed. Because it will take you to zero B4. even if you're in the air. With all that's that's B4. Four. With all that said, let's go. B4. Function F1 for me. B4. SK-737, you are clear to take off from the runway. B4. B4. Clear for takeoff and take shuts up now. B4. Yeah. B4. Zero R. Oh, B4. B4. Oh, let's release the brakes, that might be helpful. Helpful. Okay, now I B4. Do. 30 R. 30? 48 R. Eighty-five R. Eighty. Ninety-three R. Ninety-nine R. One hundred five. One hundred. One hundred twenty-nine R. B one. One hundred forty R. Rotate. Six eight T twelve T twelve T fifteen T fifteen twelve T. SK seven three seven. Climb and continue heading north. Left retract with control F. Off. And gear retract with control. Take off successful. SK-737, climb to 500 and set heading towards your destination. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, eleven, twelve, 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 R. Gates. That was the shortest. Gates. I'm sure you guys have ever seen, but we're here. And I am actually having to use reverse because I overshot that a little bit. 85, 83, 2700, K. But I've done much worse. I've literally almost crashed on landing because the aircraft I was flying at a high landing speed. About 300, I think. 17, 2700 B. Done. Parking position. Off. Alright. Zero RB. Off. Now we will taxi to the gates to let our officers off. <clears throat> and a little bug here. See how we've already landed? Since I had my nose a little too gates. low upon landing, or during landing. Gates. Are they still are screaming back now? No. So, yeah, that's our thing. If you have the cockpit open, which I did for part of the flight, um, your passengers will scream if the uh, nose is below minus 21 or above. Zero T 36 R. Let me uh, get our Space. Air Kilo 737. Taxi to gate two. Gate two. Okay. Gate one. 83 R. Oh boy, not that high. 75, 73 R. Oh, yes. If you go. B. 42, 43 R. If you go above, I think it's the body or something. 
if gate you uh, raise your landing gear, or uh, gate two, if you break, I mean, at that speed, it'll cripple your landing gear and you'll crash. Also, if you have your door closed while you're trying to let your passengers off, it'll say this. Close. But I'll keep the cockpit closed during this, um, just because they're still screaming, so I'll take off the nope. Computer off, off, off. Front and door and lights lights off. off. Basically just turning all the systems off. You don't have to do that, it's just an OC in the mind. Okay, we have zero passengers. And... Done. Off. Okay. Now when you're ready to exit your fly, you just... To end, press enter. Do all that for, for a thing, let me see. To end, press enter. Land. About Euro fly. And if you don't want to scroll through all those options, we will just press... Exit. Desktop list. And there you go. So thank you for listening to this video. We hope to see more Eurofly videos coming soon. Peace. Zoom, zoom window. Schedule button. Friday change background. Noah back in chat. Forward and chat history. Search seat tab. Presenting tool tip. Setting button. Return to meeting. Schedule button. Friday to change background. Image tool tip. Uh -huh. No upcoming meetings today. Meeting controls. Row one. More drop down. Menu. Pause recording. Hold P. Stop recording.